Hi, KK here, and here are my hats. And on March 16th, when the state of New York announced the COVID-19 lockdown, I had already put off a haircut and a hair color probably about two months, probably from December. So I started my learning curve on what the heck is my hair color really? And what is the texture? So after week one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 10, 12, I learned that answer. And the color was sort of an undescribable, not quite a strawberry brown, but sort of on the spectrum of really no answer there. And the texture was sort of a patchy gray ash with a combination of curls and dryness and an odd straightness that was just a, like a mix. So last week when our beautiful friends from the salons and the hairstylists was able to get back to work again, I quickly went and got my hair cut and I felt great. I went back to the salon and gee whiz, I mean, it just is, an, it's a haircut, it feels great. And yesterday when I got my hair colored, he had on his uh, television and he had on NBC. And there was the viral video of Diane Keaton and her hats. And it brought back so many memories, so much joy, because in 1977, Annie Hall launched on my birthday, April 20th, and I went to see it and I was transfixed on that fantastic, daring tie with the vest and the white shirt. And I just said, that's who I want to be. That's what I want to look like. And born 1959, I was probably 18 at that time, and I went out to Bloomingdale's and I bought the, the same look. And I reconstructed that whole look and I set out to become a model. I was influenced by Cheryl Teagues and Sybil Shepherd and the groundbreaker Beverly Johnson. And I somehow got my way into, I think it was called a go see. And uh, I was ready to get a contract. And by the end of it, met Eileen uh, Ford, uh, I did, I got a contract. And then lo and behold, a couple weeks after that, bam, I get hit by a car. I didn't have any permanent damage or anything too serious, but I did get a bump on my leg and they canceled the contract. But the insurance money was about 35000 at the time. I had to give probably 30% to the lawyer, but I had enough to start my little dream in the back of my mind, which was shoulder pads for everybody. And I created the shoulder pad, and I bought some inventory, and I made them, and it really launched my career. So because of that outfit, getting me into Ford, getting me to the next part of that little bit of a story, I really went into a successful entrepreneurial experience in the 80s when women in business was kind of a new thing, believe it or not. But that hat wearing sort of stuck with me. I always liked the look of a hat. And when she was talking and wearing her hats about the state of affairs for her hair, boy, oh boy, I keep wearing hats because they do, they do exactly what she was talking about. They cover up a lot. They give you a little bit of shadow. And again, when you're born <coughs> 1959, you need a little in the daylight, maybe a little help around here. And it's just the right ticket. So I to have met and connected with Patricia Underwood, who was a runway custom design hat maker in England and uh, you just cannot describe the amount of talent that woman had. And I say I was privileged because she allowed me to come up and buy hats directly from her. She back a few from Stetson, a few from JJ Hats that bring me joy, that bring me little transformation when I need it. And if, you know, it gives a little boost, it's just an homage to that video yesterday. And let's get started. Let's see some hats. <laughs> original leather hat. These are made of one string of handcrafted leather wrapped by hand and stitched to make one fantastic brimmed. Oh my god, and it's so 
it's not only, you know, kind of a showstopper, <laughs> a, a, a little dated, but, you know, when it's the top of the top of the top, you know, these days of real, real and, uh, you know, thread up, this is a prize possession. On to our next Patricia Underwood hat. It's a beauty. It is felt believe it or not, with hand cut little fall leaves. Obviously for fall, I usually put my hair in a ponytail because that's all it can manage at the time when I'm wearing the hat. And I do a little ponytail, maybe it's a little Ralph look. And the brim is made so that it can flip or stay or bend to whatever attitude you want. That is the beauty of a Patricia Underwood hat. Okay, moving on for weather. Uh, I was never a big fan of an umbrella, carrying an umbrella, losing an umbrella, replacing an umbrella. I like the song, but umbrellas, not my thing. I like hands-free. Hand, I got a lot to do with the hands, taxis, just picking up the dog, and I need my hands. So, Patricia Underwood made a collection of beautiful rain hats, and again, usually I just take whatever, maybe my hair wasn't fully washed and blown dry at the day, put a little clip in the back, tuck it down there, flip the back, front brim, that's got to be seven inches of rain protection. So whether the raindrops are coming at you no matter where, you got dryness happening. With a raincoat, if you want to boost your post-COVID look on the rainy days, try a rain hat. Now, just to keep all going on that, I went on a tangent with Patricia Underwood on the rain hat, like gotta have your navy blue. So this is her crisp, tighter brim, and this construction is also the string made of a type of nylon. Hands swirled, who knows how she did it. You don't even ask, you just say, thank you, Patricia. It is gorgeous, nylon on the top, all the rain, the, even the snow, it is repelling, and your hands are free to play the guitar. Okay, and so Burberry came out with a hat, reversible black for the classic black Burberry, and then plaid for the classic plaid Burberry. And anyway, in the pocket of my Burberry coat, do I keep and maintain my Burberry? berry hat. Now, I will give you a little flavor, a little spice that I did. I took it to the tailor. I don't know if you could see that. I ruched, ruched the side because I just thought it would look too symmetrical. Sometimes symmetry in hats, you can see from the, uh, the Underwood hats, are sort of like had personality or create the person. We're nothing against Burberry, Burberry. But the Burberry looked too perfection. Didn't have the je ne sais quoi. So I put some je ne sais quoi with a little piece of elastic and ruched it. And it also fits better like that. I really rare it on the all black side. But you can. All right, so moving right along, we're going to go to some JJ hats, a men's hat. I think the store on 31st and 5th Avenue has been there since, I don't know, I think it's like before the shark, before the shark uh, evolved 150 million years ago. But it is a stay in place, fabulous uh, men's hat. And of course, if you're creative, you could do men's hat as a lady. Woo. Okay. So this is a felt hat and I wear these and they're made for the rain. So, you know, the hair and the rain and the frizz and the whole thing. Uh, first of all, the umbrella, the moisture, it's all coming. But, you know, you could walk in anywhere with a rain hat and then shake it off with some of the moisture and let it dry. That I will show you a rain hat by Stetson from JJ Hat. Okay, let's correct ourselves. Now, if anything says ride em cowboy, 
this one does. So if you have like a, a coat, like a wrap coat, or a big oversized coat with a, with, a, with a belt, and like you have all this style, you gotta finish it with a hat. And I, I think this was like $150. I mean, you know, it's not, you know, 30 bucks. But it's not like some of the other Patricia Underwoods, a little pricier. So, and that is going to protect you in the rain. It's going to protect you in the wind. It's going to protect you. You got your mask on, whatever. And if you want to go a little more incognito, because the hair isn't great, and neither is the makeup or, you know, the whole skin situation, knock them dead with the cover of the head and a little of the shades. You can if you want to. Okay, in a uh, charity silent auction, I was the proud winner of this baby. I don't wear it much. It's made from Selima, Selima, which is a company that makes eyeglasses. But I won this, it's from Paris, so I'm a Francophile, so I wear it in the snow or the rain. Um, you know, it's a B plus, but it's felt and it does the job. Okay, back to JJ hats and a little bit of summer. Okay, if you're on going to the beach, you know, you got your bathing suit or your cover up and your bathing suit and your beach bag, Maybe you want the attention not so much around here. You know, the focus maybe was good at, you know, at the 27th birthday. But <clears throat> at 61, you might want to lift the focus up to the hat area. So um, straw, JJ hat, you cannot really kill this. I mean, uh, they do re-block for you, so sometimes when it gets really messy, I go back in there and reblock it. And it has a, a cotton grow grain ribbon. So it's just really right out of a film noir TCM Saturday nights, 10 p.m. hashtag TCM party uh, go noir. And to end my little selection, this is not quite a hat, but I'm going to come a little closer to the camera. Made by Patricia Underwood, and she called these crown adornments, okay? And I wore this as a little bridesmaid in when I think I was 39 or 38 or 40 or 41. And each of the satin ribbons that she made has wire infused on each of the ends. So again, like I was talking to you about the personality of those hats, they're not stiff. They encourage personality and change and molding and creation and, you know, innovation. So, so does this thing. <laughs> and I think I always wore it like, you know, I had all the bangs going this way with the hair and it was always a little like lackluster on this side. So I filled in the lackluster on uh, this side and you could. So anyway, thanks again for uh, Diane Keaton for starting my career in the fashion world with incredible inspiration of hats and men's ties and vests and recycle, rethink, repurpose, and wear a hat. <laughs> See you soon. Big kiss to Annie Hall, Diane Keaton, one of the greatest comedians that uh, we have the privilege of being able to watch her movies again and again and again. If you haven't seen Manhattan, that's pretty funny too. She's fine.